Uh, I am Lindsay Brooke. I attended high school at Western Christian. We were the Indians and it was in Hull, Iowa. I am the editor and director of shows, communications, and youth at the American Mania Jew Association in Platte City, Missouri. I think the most exciting part um, is that I wear a variety of hats, but I get to work with youth and teach them about different opportunities and experiences um, that have to do with either our breed of cattle or just kind of the ag industry as a whole. Uh, I really, I enjoyed showing um, growing up and then I also enjoy writing. And so that's kind of where the editor portion and then the showing portion kind of came together. And then as it sort of morphed, I've taken on a couple of different projects with the communication side. I love to communicate and I love to teach kids how to communicate as well. So the, the writing part is basically communication. So, you know, you can tell a story just like we try to tell our ag story or you try to tell your, you know, school story, whatever. You do that through writing if you can't get there and tell somebody face to face, you can do it in an article or a press release or social media. You tell your story with video and picture and you still have to be able to communicate it. You can't just show some photos and it be what it is. You gotta be able to tell what it is. So the technology portion would be trying to get people involved quicker, faster, you know, being able to do stuff online that we weren't able to do before and communicate um, with people faster than sending out a paper publication or you know, trying to send a postcard or a letter, we can post something on social media and it's almost immediate. We can send emails, we can do that. I think, you know, so I'll, and it's a TikTok thing. When I see somebody using that to advertise or do something, it makes it fun and it makes people kind of want to see it. So it's this whole, like, I would never probably think that that's a way to get information to people, but it is. Um, and then specifically trying to get to those younger kids and maybe you do something educational where you start and you do, it's like the lead up to it and, but you do it in a fun little TikTok format. That's a way for us to, especially with like junior stuff, get them interested because they see it there. Even when I started in this, how far we've come on the technology side of things, I think at some point in time, we'll literally do everything on our phone. We won't even need our computers or any of that. I mean, it can be, all done instantly, sent, scanned, you know, even on as far as animal ID, I think it'll get to that point. Um, so that excites me from a efficiency standpoint. And then, you know, with that, you're able to reach that many more people and then grow your program.